middle-aged white woman with blonde hair sitting in front of black and white framed photographs. So what's radical about inclusion? Look around, look around your table at diversity and inclusion initiatives. Who's there? Are people with disabilities at the table? Collage of four images, white man in power wheelchair at bottom of subway steps. Black couple walking across the street, arms linked. Man is using a white cane. Young boy with a hearing aid using sign language with teacher. Teenage girl with Down syndrome smiling and holding a pencil. Inclusion shouldn't be radical, but it is. Why? Collage of four images. Asian activist holding autistic and proud sign. Black activist holding black disabled lives matter signs. Activists hold signs disability rights or human rights and shut down ableism. And designers hold a wheelchair logo that shows forward motion. It's radical because we've done it wrong. We've had an inclusion model that has said you have to earn your way in or you have to adapt in order to come into this environment. White man in power wheelchair at bottom of subway stairs. What if, instead of adapting to every environment, we started to create a world that adapted to those who learn differently? Young boy with red hair and glasses and Down syndrome playing with a Rubik's Cube. Got around their environment differently. White woman with brown hair and no arms painting on a canvas with her toes. What if the environment actually changed? How radical would that be? And what would that look like? What, what is the world that we could create that would be more inclusive? Black and white women in wheelchairs dancing. White woman is lifting up black dancer in her chair. And then both dancers are separated with arms outstretched dancing. No one builds their lives on remediate weaknesses. So how do we change these systems? How do we interrogate these systems in a radical way so that everyone has a place at the table?